debut ball up here in Los Angeles, All-Star Weekend 2011. We're excited about it. We were staying out late, hardly getting any rest that weekend. And I remember Saturday night, I was calling Escalade to come to this event, you know, to meet down in the lobby, let's go to this event together, but he wasn't answering. And it wasn't like him. Um, so I figured, you know, we didn't get any rest the prior night, so maybe he's just wanting to sleep. We go through the clinic with the kids, and you know, it was a good event, but I remember afterwards, I was curious, like, I gotta call S, see what's going on, but before I could, they pulled me aside, and they actually told me that he passed away of a heart attack the night before. They found him in his hotel room. You know, instantly for me, it just shook my world up, you know what I mean? It was tragic, you know. His passing really brought me to a place where I started to ask myself the bigger questions of life, you know what I mean? You know, what, what is my purpose? What am I here for, you know? Um, why, why would Escalade die right now, you know? Well, what do I do next, you know what I mean? Like, he, he was a big homie, mentored me on all things, like, where do we go from here? And I remember going to his funeral in New York, and his brother was, uh, Escalade's brother's Mark Jackson, uh, who most people current day probably know as an analyst, but you know, he's a great NBA player. So he started talking about God, he started talking about Jesus Christ, he started talking about forgiveness of sins, I remember he was doing an altar call at the end. He said, hey, you know, if you want to go where my brother was, um, you know, feel free to come to the altar now and give your life to Jesus Christ. I don't know if you know, but the Bible says that we walk by and, and not by. I remember I just felt compelled to go up there, gave my life to Jesus Christ and asked for forgiveness of sins. And then literally after leaving that funeral for the next, you know, year or two, I had a really life-changing transformation and my life was completely changed from that moment on. Another good question, have you ever had an opportunity to share the gospel or share Jesus with anybody uh, at, at the court, after the court, in, in the context of basketball? Uh, well, tons of people in the context of basketball, whether it be teammates or like personal combos that I had and stuff like that, not so much in the like in the heat of battle or like yeah after. i don't know if anyone's like yo uh john 316 jesus loves you <laughs> not, not, not so much day of yeah not so much day of but definitely like through my platform with like ministry events yeah, yeah i guess those ones yeah because i've done stuff at like christian colleges or yeah. whatever um and then just like personal convos with teammates and stuff somebody asked if you listen to christian hip-hop chh you got some artists that you're a fan of in the chh space I don't know it as much. Like, watching your channel, like, yeah. I, I didn't even know it's as extensive as it is, yeah. to be honest. But, like, I've heard, like, some Lecrae. Okay. I think that's pretty dope. I heard, like, that track that you have on in your intro, yep. outro. I think it's dope. Yeah. I like Kanye's Christian album. Yeah, Kanye. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't know it, like, inside and out. You know Got what I mean? You. But you. I should dig in a little bit more. Yeah, yeah man. But I had a couple of Lecrae albums. Okay, yeah. dope. I'll create a playlist for you and send you some dope, some dope, like, indie stuff. There's some. There's a lot of good stuff out okay. there right now. So I'll send you some stuff. Um, I fun. But most of all, that Jesus Christ is going to be raised up high tonight. And we just ask that you bless this whole evening. Keep all these guys safe. And uh, just let them play far beyond what they thought they could play. But let them give you all the glory and all the honor. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. 